welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to thank everybody who has supported me so far on this journey. Um, I know I'm, I'm fairly new to uh, my YouTube channel and um, I just want to thank all my friends who have been really supportive and for everyone who subscribed to my channel. Um, and for those who haven't subscribed, what you need to do is um, select the subscribe button which is either at the bottom left or bottom right of the screen and if you just press the tab then um, you'll be um, updated or you'll be up to date with all of my um, latest videos um, so again thank you so much for subscribing and press that bloody subscribe button now <laughs> now um today guys um as you can see i'm in paradise i'm in Turks and caicos which is um far far away from the uk and um from the um, horrible cloudy cloudy weather um, I'm here with my pina colada so I'm, I'm incredibly happy um, so Richie and I were fortunate to come out here for um, a friend's wedding um, but I've actually got some amazing news to share with you and the reason why I wanted to share it is because um, it's it's just for people out there who are having a tough time who almost gave up on love it might be a little bit of a sub story it might be a little bit like uh -huh, get the fucking violins out whatever but um it's it, i think it's i feel like it's a story that a lot of people can relate to and it's important for people to have hope because you know um i'm in a very different place to where i used to be a few years ago and um again i just want to share that with you so i'll share it with you in a minute now the reason why i'm sharing this story or the reason why i'm going to get to that bit is because this just happened. So thank you, thank you Richie. My beloved Richie Hudson um, proposed to me um, on what even, what day is it today? I don't even know what fucking day it is, oh Lord. Um, I think it's, is it Wednesday the 15th of May, right? So Richie proposed to me on Wednesday the 15th of May. It was very sweet. We got the boat out and um, we were on a little catamaran and we were having issues, bless <laughs> him. He had this whole trip planned out. He wanted to, um, well, first of all, he brought us a drone and unfortunately the drone, we couldn't get the drone to work. And then he wanted to take me out on a boat, um, but the, because of the winds or because of the reefs out in the sea, we weren't able to hire, or we weren't able to hire our own boat. So we managed to get um, a sort of day pass at the at the med at this med resort um, hotel where it's an all all inclusive for the day. It's like a pass for the day, and you get all this food and bloody drinks for the basically just we we, pay, we paid seventy pounds to fucking get fat for the day. That's basically what we've done in hindsight. And then you can get some free activities and free water sports for the day. Um, so we decided to um, not do the snorkeling because I'm pretty shit scared of fish. Um, we decided to get the little catamaran out. But Richie, um, neither of us are really that great at, at sailing sailing these, these boats. So we um, decided to um, onboard two complete strangers onto our boat and uh, we managed to go out with them and they seemed to be great fun and there you have it Richie just popped out this ring whilst we were out there with a bottle of champagne and I had a feeling it was coming up it wasn't a complete surprise I, I had a feeling uh, but it was beautiful it was lovely and I'm very very grateful now the reason for this story and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is yes because it's great great news I'm absolutely thrilled and cannot wait I firstly just want to thank all my friends I've had some overwhelming messages on my Instagram and Facebook um, and lots from friends who I haven't actually heard from in years and um, this really hit, hit a spot for me because a lot of my friends every single message from them conveyed that um, it, it was something that I deserved they're really happy for me and especially for everything that I've gone through and for those who don't understand or know me when I was younger it, it wasn't you know it wasn't that great and um, even a few years ago for the last seven years I had a really 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 tough time I um, you know I met somebody that I thought I was going to marry and spend the rest of my life with and um, you know that person ended up passing away and dying in my arms right in front of me which was you know the biggest pain that I've ever gone through and um, for those that know me you know shared that pain with me for a number of years and I literally lost the rails I really really um, lost my shit <laughs> almost um, I um, lost a lot of friends I became somebody that wasn't me I became very selfless very selfish very um, uh, just just a completely different person um, and I've just come such a long way 
from that person seven years ago and you know it's taken me seven years to get where I am today and it's taken Richie seven years to meet me and I meet a lot of single people today and they all say to me Azzy you know I've given up on love I've given up it's so hard to meet people nowadays especially you know in this in our generation with 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 Twitter and with um, Twitter <laughs> not Twitter I mean <laughs> I mean Tinder and all these stupid um, you know dating sites um, it's really difficult to meet people nowadays um, and you know nowadays people don't want to settle down they have fun they don't want to they don't want the commitment they just want to mess around and, and again you know I met a lot of twats in my years who weren't ready to settle down and they broke my heart and I always gave up I was like you know what it doesn't fucking exist I was one of those people that said I don't believe in love anymore I don't believe it exists no, no one wants to you know no one wants to settle down am I ever gonna get married am I ever gonna have kids and for those that don't know I'm actually 35 I'm gonna be 36 this year and I really was panicking I thought you know I had to I just all my friends are getting married all my friends are engaged all my friends have kids and I don't here I am I thought I was just gonna be the last one on the shelf you know without anybody just as crazy lunatic who's gonna be going out every weekend on the, on the Raz um, so I really started to panic um, but what I'm basically trying to say to you lovely people out there is that it will happen please please just trust the universe that it will happen for you love is out there for everyone and we are all destined to meet somebody and we're all going to meet the loves of our lives apologies for this awful awful fringe that just wants to do whatever it wants to do there we go right please trust me please trust your journey i really fucking hate this fringe i mean what should we do should we just put a fucking straw in it oh Okay, I mean, I'll do it. No, that's that's a good look. That's a good look. We can do that for now. Okay, so. Mm. Mm. Okay, no, this is not good because it's like, it's going all over me. Okay, okay. Right, we're just gonna have to make do with this, this, this unruly bit of hair. Sorry. So, girls and guys i'm trying to say to you is that love fucking exists it's out there it's real you will meet somebody just don't give up okay do not give up it doesn't matter how old you are and i highly advise you to vibrate good energy if you're going to you know if you're if you're going to vibrate that you're not meeting anybody that you're not you're never going to meet anyone then you never fucking are because who's going to approach you when you're fucking gloomy and sad and unapproachable no one's going to want to spend their time with you if you're like that so you almost need to just shift your attitude a little bit i know it's hard when you're down and a little bit you know if you're heartbroken and you're feeling a bit shit just don't give up it's out there it will happen you've got to believe that it will happen and just trust your journey and when it's the right time the right time will happen like I said six months ago I never expected this to happen I never expected this to happen <coughs> <coughs> I think I've swallowed salt not salt sand saying <laughs> trust the lord almighty and do trust this beautiful universe that they have something great stored for you thanks for the boat trip yeah. thanks for the boat trip it was great we loved it everyone's wondering what the fuck i'm doing um so yeah anyway <laughs> just talking to myself i don't realize i've got a, a fucking camera planted in the, in, the, in the fucking trees where I'm doing my video. I just like a lunatic sat here. As I said, guys, and my beautiful girls, trust the universe and it will happen. One day you will meet the loves of your lives and they will make you very, very happy. Okay, love exists, it's real. Be happy, be good, stay positive, okay? And just, just vibrate that good, good frequency. Good frequency. Right, I'm gonna go because Rich is wondering where I am. Oh, oh, oh no, wait, hang on, sorry. Rich is wondering where his fiance is. Where his, where's my fiance? Oh, I better get used to that, sorry. Where's my fiance? Yeah, okay, right, I'm gonna go. Guys, I love you, thanks for watching. Please continue to watch, okay? There's gonna be more videos. I'm gonna show you the whole vlog of this whole-